Hey guys, what is up and welcome to another video and in this one I'm going to show you how you can make a timer or a countdown in Unity really quick so just um, you select a time and it counts down yeah and then at zero it something will happen and yeah let's just get right into it so the first thing that you want to do is I just made a new scene here and you want to right click in the hierarchy and select a UI text and what this will do is will it will actually automatically create a canvas and a event system. So now you can just click on the text and select 2D here if your game is a 3D game. And yeah, here you can see it. So let's just um, make that a bit bigger here actually. Um, so yeah, um, let's just put that here and make the font size a bit bigger. So here you can see the text. Okay, that's good for now. You can, of course, modify your text how you want it. And yeah, now the next thing that we're going to do is make the script for this. So right click in your assets, click create and create C sharp script. And we'll just call it countdown. So now open it in Visual Studio and I'll see you there. So we're now in Visual Studio and the first thing that we're going to do is we will create a public float and we can just call it um, time left. Okay, and of course do that. And then what we can do is, why is it showing an error here? Um, I don't know. Mm. Oh, we created it in the start. Oh. Uh, of course you won't create it in the start um, you will create that here and the start we can just leave that here um so the next thing is in the update you will actually say a uh, time left a uh, minus equals let's just say one um, and then of course F and then we'll multiply that this is really important uh, with time dot Delta time so this, the, what this does is it will actually, um, every second it will uh, take this one f from our number. And yeah, now it should actually kind of work. Um, but of course we have to display it. So the first thing that we are going to do is type in using Unity Engine. Uh, Unity Engine here dot UI. So that we can display it in a text and this text will actually create it now so let's just say public text and we can just create it uh, say a count down display yeah um of course this one so yeah in the update we can actually say a countdown display um dot text don't forget dot text um, and then we can say it's equal to time left and don't forget to type in dot to string and yeah now it should actually display our number but of course uh, what we can also do what it now does it displays our number but in so many digits so it just says our seconds and then dot and then so much more di uh, digits so what we can do is just here do this and now it's only displaying our s the seconds so this is pretty awesome what we can also do in the update is we say if time left uh, time left is e is uh, less or equal to zero um, yes then in this thing in this uh, bracket you just uh, want to do everything that you want when the timer is done so of course one thing that we want to do is we will um, yes okay 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 we'll do another thing we create a bool and we can say uh, is uh, counting and yeah here we can say yeah in this we can say is counting is equal to true uh true okay um and here we actually say is counting is equal to false and here we're going to make another if statement 
and here we will check if is counting is true so we can just type in is counting and this thing actually we can just put it in here what it didn't oh my god okay so i'm just going to do that again um so time left left uh what you can also do is minus do minus equals time dot delta time it's a bit quicker like that uh, so it will only count down if is counting is actually true don't forget to save here um, and now this should actually be everything so if we go out of visual studio and we can just add the script to our text yes right here and we just going to drag the text in here and let's say 10 seconds okay and now if we start the game don't forget to save here if we start the game you can actually see there will be a countdown 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and now it will stop so at zero it will actually stop and it will do everything that you write in that code so that's pretty much a, a simple countdown i'll maybe do another video when and then i will show you how you can do it with minutes because if you have over 60 seconds it will only display in seconds so i will show you how to do minutes hours maybe also days and seconds and yeah that was actually it for this video i hope you liked it if you did you can of course leave a like on the video and subscribe for more tutorials and i'll see you in the next tutorial